What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to take apart this ring doorbell and I'm actually really curious to see what's inside. Um, but more importantly, I wanna deactivate this glowing um, button here. So at nighttime this glows white and it just really sticks out in my neighborhood. As well as these IR lights here, they glow red at night as well. Also, you guys could probably retrofit this into something else, but let me go ahead, grab my tools and start to take this apart. So I'm gonna flip the device over and we're just gonna pop the cap off first. On the bottom we have that T6 Torx security screw and you undo that and the front face plate pops off. Now I'm gonna get my favorite tool set here from iFixit. Um, this is not sponsored, but I do love it very much. So they've got all these crazy bits here. Pretty much anything you need to get into, they'll have it in here. I'll put a link down below for that. Again, it's not sponsored, but I really do like this toolkit. So up on the front, we have a few more Torx screws. And these are a T6 screw. Now I just wanna um, go over that I got these extra devices because one, I already pay the yearly subscription for Ring. So it's really awesome because basically I'm getting free cloud storage at this point for all of my cameras. So in my house, I could literally have 10 cameras and just keep adding more. And these are pretty cheap to buy. They're about 40 bucks. And if you go on Amazon, um, sometimes you can find them as open boxes for $29. This is the one I got. It was only $29 and I can add more cameras in my house and I've got free cloud storage already because I already pay the um, Ring yearly subscription. So here is a look at the internals of the device. The back just pops off after you take apart those few screws. There are a few connectors here. So this one looks like it's possibly the speaker. So be pretty gentle and you just pull up on it. And I'm not sure what this one on the top is right now, but we'll go ahead and undo that and I should figure out once I get this back off. So I've gotten that piece pulled up, again, be pretty gentle. Um, up here we have a few more T6 Torx screws. It actually looks like these two are smaller. And that's no problem because we have the bits for them. So these are a T4 Torx. And while we're at it, I'm actually just gonna do these two as well. It looks like it's the speaker. Um, those look like they are the bigger torques, so let's go ahead and try that T6. And it is indeed two T6 screws. And again, these bits are also magnetic, so that's really nice. So it's got a little bit of adhesive, and you just peel up. It looks like this part is sealed right here. Um, let's go ahead and remove one more T4 Torx right here. And this pops out the back. Now the back is secured into place with a connector here. So this connector connects right there. And this is the camera for the doorbell cam right there. We have the lens right here and it looked like that cable was going to the lens. And here is the front of the doorbell. It looks like this connector connects to the button. And we can remove the front plate with a few more torque screws. And these are even smaller at a T3 Torx. So there are a few clips along the side that are holding this into place. And specifically, I see this one here, which is secure um, there and there. And then we can slowly pry up on this board here. And we should probably undo the button. So you flip that up and you just simply pull that cable out after you flipped it up. And Ring has packed a ton into this little slim device. Um, it's actually really cool. And here are the front LEDs as well as the IR LEDs. So it actually would be a lot of work to deactivate these LEDs. I wanted to first take it apart and check it out. Um, 
you could either try to desolder these, which is going to be really difficult. I think, um, you know, the easiest thing to do was, is just to take a screwdriver and just break these LEDs off. And that would certainly work. However, after you disable these LEDs, you'll never be able to get these LEDs back. So make sure you set up the ring device before you do all this because you won't be able to check the status on the device. And it, if it ever loses connection with your Wi-Fi, you might not be able to check the status if you're not really familiar with the user interface of the menu. Because um, the lights do tell you a lot when they're flashing or rotating or spinning or blue or white. So if you guys did find the video helpful again, please leave me that thumbs up. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. Um, again, you can pick these up used. I'll put a link down below on Amazon. Uh, they are warehouse deals. You can find open boxes of these for really cheap. And it's a really effective way to add on, you know, $30 camera with free cloud storage. Um, and then if you want to do some more work on these in terms of like disabling the IR or removing the LEDs or retrofitting this into your own little thing. Like you can um, take this apart and retrofit it, you know, something into your own little device that could also work. Check out my channel, subscribe guys. If you find videos like these interesting, but check out my channel for more tech videos. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.